we might keep this hun done forever. I ain't gonna cap, bro. The gas, bro. The gas in the done is impeccable. A couple of more days, man. We're gonna be in Jamaica, gang. But shizzle. Don't let anything get you down because you have that power to keep going. God's gonna give it to you, even if you don't feel like you have it yourself. <laughs> to another video man i go by done if you're new to the channel and go ahead and do me a huge favor go ahead and like the video subscribe make sure you ring that bell make sure you hit all man turn on post notice to all game because you know what i'm saying in a couple of more days man we're gonna be in jamaica gang and i'm telling you y'all ain't gonna miss these vlogs man like we're gonna be lit over there i already know it man and we're gonna try to vlog every single thing man i probably do about 10 videos over there you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna I'm make it my business to basically work <laughs> You feel me? I, I could lie to y'all and be like, man, we going over there to have fun. We ain't, we ain't doing no work, man. Nigga, I ain't got time to have fun. I have no time to have fun, nigga. I'm going to have fun and I'm going to work at the same time. You feel me? But uh, it's hump day. It's Wednesday, man. It's sushi day for us. So me and my mom, right, we be looking forward to these sushi days because that's something that's us. You know what I'm saying? That's something we do. And for all the couples out there, find something that y'all do, man. It may be every night y'all watch a certain TV show. Like, find something to look forward to, man, because it's so much going on in life, bro. It's so much going on in the world, bro. You got to find your peace. You got to find your safe place, bro. And I'm just happy to say that my safe place is home. Like, I find peace at home. I find peace with my lady. Not saying every day is peaceful, you know what I'm saying? We go through things just like any other couple do, but we've always decided to basically make this shit work, man. You know what I'm saying? Make this shit work. And in your marriage... Don't take nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? Even if your significant other may say something that you feel like they shouldn't have said and they may hurt your feelings, don't take that shit personal. Especially if you've been rocking for a long period of time because you know the person got to have some kind of feelings for you if you've been rocking with them for a long period of time. We know we love each other, so we don't take words personal. We don't take nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's how we rock out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I don't even know where none of that came from. Somebody may be watching us, man. You may be on the brink of leaving your girl or you may be on the brink of leaving your dude. You may think the grass is green on the other side. Listen, the grass is never green on the other side. <laughs> you feel me? Like, the grass is never green on the other side, man. If you know you got love for somebody, man, make that shit work, man. Don't take that shit personal. That little argument y'all may have had last night, man, the hell with that, bro. I'm saying love on your lady, dog. You feel me? Let her have that one, gang. You ain't got to prove yourself right every time. Let her have that one. Let her have that one, bro. Believe me, she going to come back to you later on. She going to be like, babe, you were right. I'm sorry. So let her have that one. You feel me? To all the ladies out there, you be right all the goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? Let him have a couple of them. You feel what I'm saying? It don't take it personal, man. Marriage is a beautiful thing, man. Marriage is what you make it, man. You feel me? And I choose to basically try to make my lady the happiest woman on earth, bro. You dig? Yeah, man. Yeah, but like I said, I don't know where that came from, man. It had to come straight from God. You feel me? I don't know. But, hey, if you been arguing with your old lady, man, or you been arguing with your old man, go in there right now. Apologize. Even if you went wrong, apologize. Be the first one to apologize. Be the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I do in our marriage now. You know what I'm saying? I try to be the bigger person first. Like, back in the day, I used to try to be right. Uh-uh. I told you sorry first. Yep. <laughs> I'm the bigger person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But anyway, me going to the crib, man. I got a couple of reactions I gotta do. Y'all make sure y'all tap in over there. King Dunn reacts, man. Appreciate y'all. We hit 600 subscribers. We're on the road to 700. Y'all know the first goal is a thousand because that's when uh, I can basically monetize the channel. You uh, know, after that, thousand, then ten thousand, after ten thousand, twenty. You feel me? And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going up from there. And if you did not know, 
Every time I reach 100 subscribers on my reaction channel, I give away some money, man. Straight your cash out, you did. But uh, let me get in the crib. Go ahead and knock this out, man. Completely fasted. I can't wait to get this sushi, though. I can't wait. Yeah, man. Y'all don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to ring the bell. After you ring that bell, make sure you hit all so we can bow, folks. Let's get it. Yeah. Boy, I'm working, bro. Yes, sir. Working, man. What up, Nip? You feel me? Yeah, gang. So just got done reacting, man. To knock out a couple of reactions, man. Like, bro, I love this YouTube shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. All right, y'all probably already know that, bro. Like, I feel like, bro, I should start doing YouTube a long time ago, bro. I'd be bitch by now. But y'all gonna get me, though, though. Y'all ain't gonna leave a player hanging, man. Y'all gonna get me, though, for shizzle, you dig? So it's all good. It's all great, bro. Just got done reacting, man. So, uh... Anything y'all want to see me react to, though, man, first of all, y'all make sure y'all tap in King Dunn Reacts. Anything you want to see me react to, just send it to my Instagram, uh, King Dunn underscore seven, man. Now I'm finna call my lady. She had hit me up in the middle of me working, so I'm finna call her, see what she got going on. And, uh, yeah, see what the rest of the day gonna bring, bro. I know it gonna bring some sushi, though, folks. I can't wait for this sushi. No care. Yeah. Locked it done up, man. Bro, we might keep this hun done forever. I ain't gonna count, bro. The gas, bro. The gas in the done is impeccable, bro. Like, I think it's like maybe $25, 30 to fill that car up when gas is cheap. And y'all remember gas had skyrocketed, bro? I think it was like $45. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We might keep that done forever. Even when I surprise them with the G Wagon next year. Cash. You feel me? Anyway, y'all already know where I'm at, man. It's sushi day, folks. Sushi day, folks. Sushi day. Yeah, let me go and go ahead and get this sushi, though. Yeah. I pull up Roto window Johnny. I pull up Roto window Johnny. Yeah. I pull up Roto window Johnny. Yeah. I just bought a pistol. It got 30 rounds. Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in it. I got to show this corner. They 249 here, bro. I think they like three, four dollars at uh what's it called? Puppets. Not puppets. I met puppets. Program I think they like four dollars. I gotta show this to her, bro. 249 bro. That's all thing why ain't no cop. I bought a brand new drop and then I put me on some drops. Y'all said a real street. I ain't gonna even count this out, gang. Normally, bro, I get like five. Bro. So I know we don't let die. We watching our weight. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get that sexy bike for Jamaica, so I ain't gonna get the two. You feel me? Yeah. I gotta get some dog food, then I'm gonna get to the crib. They get it. Gang. Gang. Bro, I just spent like $30 in the grocery store. Like, just off the fly, my nigga. Like, just $30, bro. And I can name everything I got, bro. I got two things of sushi. That was 10. Dog food. That was like eight. That's 18, right? I got my baby some uh, snap pea chips. She like them little green bean looking chips. She said they busted, so I got her bag of them. That was two. So what? That's 20, right? I got some fat free cheese. That was four. That's 24. I got an energy drink. That was 150. That's twenty five, fifty, and oh, and two things of yogurt for three dollars. That's twenty eight. Damn, plus tax. Like that was nothing, bro. I just basically told y'all everything I got. That was nothing, bro. And it was twenty nine something and some change, bro. Like, bro. This shit is too high over here, bro. I don't know who we need to talk to, bro, but inflation is crazy over here, bro. And I don't like to talk politics, and I don't want to get into the whole political aspect of it all, but God, bro, I just don't understand how our government can basically send aid to other countries and can basically get into what they got going on when shit fucked up over here, bro. Excuse my language, bro. Like, my nigga, my nigga, bro, you down there got to be a million now to eat now, bro. You feel me, bro? You damn near got to work seven days a week just to eat, gang. Like, what is going on? But we can send a billion dollars to 
other countries to help and get in their business? A billion dollars, bro? A billion? Dang, what it do? Y'all know, y'all see where I'm at, so y'all know I just got done with an amazing workout. But hey, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I just wanna say this right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I get motivation while I'm in the gym working out, and I like to share it with the people, share it with the gang. So y'all pay attention. And all I wanna say is this, this, bro. Your vision has to be greater than your now. You feel me? Where you going has to be greater than where you at. Like your destination has to basically be greater than where you are at this point in your life. Just think about that. When you're trying to get somewhere, right, you really don't care how you get there. You know what I'm saying? You just want to go there. You don't care if you have to take the plane, the boat. You don't care if you have to drive. Don't get me wrong. Now, the fastest way to get there, that's probably the, the way you want to take. But if the fastest way don't work, then you're going to take another way. You did? And that's how you got to be about life. You feel me? Remember that. Remember nothing else from this video. Remember that. Your destination has to be greater than where you are now. Your vision has to be greater than your now. Where you trying to go has to be greater than where you are at this moment in your life. Okay. Gang, check that out, bro. Don't be jealous, man. Y'all see it. We got vegetarian. Vegan. Which one it is, babe? Um, that was vegan. So we got vegan spaghetti, you did. Ain't no meat enough. Know y'all looking like, hold up, dog, that meat. No, cuz. No meat. Fat free cheese. And we got that Texas toast, man. Please, please don't be jealous, bro. Yeah. And I'm 10 pounds down, man. I've been eating like this the whole time. Having cheat meals every Saturday. Now, who else y'all know can do that, bro, and get results, bro? I got the juice, gang. But no, I'm not a trainer. Because y'all didn't want to do it right. Anyway, yeah. Hey, man, y'all need to subscribe to that channel, bro. We've been watching them for a minute. Down in the corner, y'all subscribe to them. Nice-looking couple. Keep it all the way 100, you feel me? Bam! What's happening? What you been up to? Nothing. I'm trying to find somebody to cover my hair. Well, not somebody. I'm trying to go back to my old stylist so she can color my hair. Because the new stylist, I already... I color it for you? No. Uh -uh. Color your own hair. I can't color my hair. I don't know how to color my hair. Oh. Did you like my color last time? You remember how it looked? What color was it? You pay attention to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're going to look good. I don't care if it's purple, bro. All right, so this was my You're going to know how to do your thing, folks. Is it cute? Oh, yeah, you look good. For real? Yeah, I like that. You should do it. Hey, it brings my face out, right? Yeah. It so, does. side by side, what want to look better? Black hair or this gold tan color? I ain't gonna I lie. Ain't gold this tan gold. Here. How many years ago that was? That was 2021. Oh, yeah. Look how long my hair was. It's busting. My hair was super long. It's almost there again. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna color it again. Mm, find my color, man. Appreciate the meal for the night, you dig? You're welcome, man. That's me cooking <sighs> two nights in a row. For sure. My man. baby had took over for a while because I was going real estate. But I'm back in the kitchen with it. I really don't like to cook. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm ready for you to take that over. It's cool. Do you like to cook? Yeah, yeah for sure. I like, yeah, I like to cook. What you sure. like to cook? Like, what's your. Oh. Probably salmon. I like. I like. The Is it because it's easy? Or it don't take that long. And plus, I know I got salmon figured out now. So you know what I'm saying. You do for real. And I, I like. I like to fry the fish in the air fryer. But I think I, I do it better. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man. I just want to show these folks. You know what I'm saying. You can actually eat some of the things you like. Oh yeah. Just in a different way, and you can still reach goals. And I ain't even been working out. And I still ain't losing weight. So it's definitely yeah, food. She ain't been in the gym, y'all. I know. Okay. She called herself out. I wasn't going to say nothing. Yeah. I got to do that. Monday. Yeah. For sure. Okay. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't see Quan on the last video we dropped, so I had to make sure I get on this video. You made a video without me? Oh, yeah. I just be dropping stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. 
Yeah. All right, so hey. I start vlogging then. I, I vlog get, myself because you ain't going to leave me off the vlog. I get 10, 12 minutes video going up. Oh, That's how we do it, man. All right. Got to get it. Hey, got to grind. Got to well, get the money out. Yeah. What you want to do tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Let go downtown Perry. Downtown Perry for what? Stuff be down there. I don't know. But see, I'd rather do that like on a Saturday. Like tomorrow, Friday. Like, so you got to work out. I got to work out. I can't deviate from my diet. But on Saturday, diet? We not breaking our I diet. get it done. You never know. I may see something I want to eat, and I may just eat it. It ain't no carnival or nothing. You feel me? You might be right, though. Okay. Yeah, man. But, yeah, man. So, we ain't doing nothing, gang. We just kicking it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I had to get my baby on camera, though. Show y'all how good she look for shizzo. I look good, though. For sure. Yeah. Big facts, big facts. Thank you, babe. Yeah. But before we, uh, before we wrap this one up, because this one will wrap right here. Okay. I need you to give the young ladies, ladies, period, because I'm always giving motivation. And they, they probably can't relate to me, even though they probably could. So I want you to tell them, how do you get through adversity when, you know what I'm saying, when you're dealing with something that basically should break you down, should take you off your pivot, should take you off your grind? Even if it do, how do you jump back on it? How do you just move forward with life? Well, sometimes I don't, to be honest. I got I sulk first if it's that bad, but then you got to remember who you are. For sure, though. And you got to remember that... God will leave you, nor will he forsake you. So, you got to put God first, pray, and then, you know, get back to the grind. Shizzle. Don't let anything get you down because you have that power to keep going. God's going to give it to you, even if you don't feel like you have it yourself. So, just remember who you are and remember that God's going to help you through anything. So, For sure. keep going. Don't give up. Facts. And remember, delayed does not mean denied. Yes. Just because God didn't give it to you right then, that doesn't mean he it's doesn't have it for you. You did? Or it may be something Keep bigger. Going. You know? It may not be the right time. You may not be in the right headspace to receive the blessing, and God know that. This is my advice for you. What's that? This is my advice for you. I mean, I'm, I'm piggybacking <laughs> off of what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm kidding. That, that's true, though, for real. Some people give in, too, because they feel like it's not coming fast enough. But y'all got to let go of that whole instant gratification ordeal. Like, it might not come right then, but as soon as you give up, it might be like this close and you gave up. Facts. So, Big facts. You, you got to be careful about that too. Yeah, I got to find the little joint that you sent me one time where the man was digging for the diamonds and one turned around, he was oh, almost yeah. there. He was so close. And the other man kept up. going and he struck, he struck gold, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Me personally, I feel like that's where we mess up at with, with faith. You dig? We want faith to have a time stamp, but it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? We want manifestation. We want to be able to say, hey, I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. But manifestation don't work like that. Absolutely. Do you feel me? It's all about belief, and it's all about total trust in God. So I was talking to Big some fact. of my students about that, and I was just telling them how they... I think we were working on things, but... I was showing them how things and books can apply to our lives and we can use that as a form of motivation. Cause even when like Coach Prime, when he give his players um motivation and advice about how to, you know, keep their heads up and, you know, keep going in the game. Like it applies to me too. I don't play football. But it still motivates me in my personal life. So a lot of us gotta start finding motivation in like small things even when we just scrolling on instagram or scrolling on whatever it is you own like you got to find motivation and find something positive that can apply to your life because that can also be something that keeps you going too fact oh yeah yeah man and comparison is the number one dream killer yes don't compare yourself you can't man you can't you, you just can't do that and you can't i see that all the time you know you're saying? right babe that's a, that's a dream killer, man. And you can't, basically, if you feel like God is God is blessing somebody else, you can't be envious or jealous right. about that. You know what I'm saying? You got to just... Because sometimes your blessing might be right around the corner, too. And a lot of people me? will say, oh, I ain't blessed because this person got this. And well, they being blessed more than I'm being blessed. We got to start looking at everything as a blessing. For sure. Even breath, having breath in your body is a blessing. Sure. Waking up in the morning is a blessing. Sure. Making it... 
um to work and for back sure. home from work for is sure. a blessing. So we can't say, oh, that person is being more blessed than for I sure, am. Man. So. And uh, this past weekend, I was talking to one of my partners. And, you know what I'm saying, he just went through something. And when we were talking, I said, boy, that's a blessing. And he looked at me like, oh, that's a blessing, dog. And I was like, fam, you got to think. You went through what you went through, and you didn't break. You didn't miss a step, fam. You kept living how you were living when you weren't going through what you were going through. And he was like, dog, you right. And I bet that up in That's a blessing, man. gang. You feel what I'm saying? Something that was supposed to break you, it made you. Yeah. That's a big blessing. We gotta look at the small things and big fat. Big fat. Be grateful. Yeah. Small blessings. Yeah. And I know I asked you for advice, man, but I had to jump in now. You dig what I'm saying? No yeah, call me Martin Luther Dunn, you feel me? <laughs> Pretty soon y'all gonna have to pay me for this, you feel me? And the reason yeah. I ain't turning the camera around, cause I'm very sweaty, gang. You are. Right, y'all whole shirt is yeah. wet. Big fat. Which makes it look even better. But I think you know what? I've always said this. I think you're going to be a motivational speaker. Right. It's not that you aim to be that, but I know, like, the way you deliver your advice What's up, baby? Appreciate powerful. that, yeah. You and your dad. I don't know. You know, I told you a long time ago, I think you should be a preacher. Yeah. God ain't through with me yet, though. Get up there and be real. Be you. you know what I'm saying I can't. I can't be on. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be like fellowship up there. <laughs> I ain't twenty years old church. Bro. I can't. I can't be getting up there on first Sunday with, with, with real wine, <laughs> passing it, passing it, passing the wine back around. Like let's let do a nerd. Let do a nerd. Let do a nerd. Shot o'clock. You know what I'm saying God turned water into wine. Let's get it. You feel it? Hey, that can that can twerk at fellowship. Then. Bro, I ain't saying nothing, bro. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. They be listening to G's and everything. Oh I'm my god! Oh my god! All I'm gonna say is, I make it how you want to make it. I don't know. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot judge. No, that's one judge. thing I can't do. The Bible say judge, and you will be judged. I can't See? judge. Nah, me. What you mean? But I just don't believe you pulled a twerk for Jesus. I just don't think Mary Magdalene was up there twerking. I gotta show you this name, but oh, this lady said you know she twerked saying? for Jesus. She twerked for gospel. She, she twerking herself. It's the girl from okay. um not insecure. What's the other one? Rap. S H I C. She twerking herself straight to hell. But that girl said she twerking on gospel. Ain't no way. I just that twerking in church and gospel twerking in God just don't even sound like it. twerking <laughs> to God. That don't even sound right, bro. I don't think Jesus wanted nobody twerk for them. You know what I'm saying? Even, I him. mean, Jesus, me personally, I feel like Jesus, I, I ain't going to say. He was with him. I, he wasn't with that, but he was that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course he was that guy. And when I like, talk like that, a lot of Christians get mad. He, but, been, he, had he was that, that guy, guy bro. That lady said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Bro, he was that guy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Bro, he, he had, bro. Gang, he had a to his feet. He had a crew. He, he had, had a click a with him, bro. <laughs> He had a click. Jesus had a click, bro. Jesus out there walking on water, making b- making folks. blind folks see. You think these women weren't well, like, oh my God, Lord? You think Mary? Man, come on, man. You think Mary Madeline ain't look at Jesus like he can get it if he want it? I think. I'm just being real. But Jesus was married though. See, that's a lot of stuff people don't mean. Come on, that man was 30 oh, years Jesus old. Was not but Jesus died when he was 33. But I say Jesus. But he died at 33. So y'all really think Jesus went out here? Bro, he, that was, I be trying to tell folks that he died at 33. But. And he was flesh. Did that say he was a virgin? They, they never said it. Right, so I never Man, thought he was. Nah, I ain't saying Jesus was out here, you know what I'm saying, plumbing. But Jesus had him one, maybe two now. Nah, and he was like, hey. I don't know, I ain't about to go ahead and think about it. You know what I mean? But I, I swear, I have always thought that him and Mary Come Madeline on, was, you know. Bro. They love they they love certain books out of the Bible, bro. They had to, cause they don't talk about that. Mm-hmm. They don't talk about it. But it I don't al- think he over It always tell us he was flesh, bro. Right. Even though he knew Lazarus, he knew he was gonna raise Lazarus. He 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 cried. Yeah. So 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 even though he knew Mary Madeline was gonna, you know what I mean? He still probably like, hey. Lazarus. Think, no. Yeah, she cried. A lot of them did. Jesus had him weeping at his feet. Jesus was that guy. Bro, when they pissed me in his side, milk and honey came out. Come on. 
You looking at this? No, like, wow. it was water and blood. And some honey came about it up too. I don't know a scripture. I Look it up. Ain't never heard no honey. Come on, man. Inside. Can you remember? It said water and blood. And then after that, honey flowed. Oh. I think. I don't know. I may be lying. But anyway, you messing up my story. Cause can you imagine <laughs> watching this man? And that thing, you know, they piercing, blood flow out, then water, and that thing, you know, honey. They make on. you want. They, they make like, you want to be. They like whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this was that. Just, man, man, and now he's that Jesus, Barack Obama, that guy, Martin Luther King, that guy, Malcolm X, that these these these, these were prestigious men, bro. They were they, they were that, bro. Know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't phone like when I get to talking like that, but they ain't real. They were that. They was that, bro. Jesus walked in the room. He commanded attention, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just like Martin Luther King, just like Dr. Man, King. I don't see that, man. Oh, I probably made it. It sounded good for the for the vlog, though. Oh, okay. It sounded good for the vlog. You feel what I'm saying? Look at me. I know now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We need to do a... Um, you know, a little something over here. You feel me? We need to do a trivia game. Like a Christian trivia. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah that'd probably be dope. But yeah. But yeah. Man, you go ahead and end the vlog, though, because I ain't gonna to put it on me. All right. Why you ain't gonna have food on you? Oh, since you say you Real sweaty. All right, thank you for watching the video. We're going to see y'all in the next video, guys. And in the next one, I swear I am going to record. Y'all take heed to some of the stuff that was said because, hey, something that we said might have been just for you. You never know. But anyway, appreciate y'all. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications. See y'all next one. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step.